Hello friends, it's me. And today we are checking out some amazing inventions and gadgets. If you're wondering what happened to my hand, I burned it. I poured boiling hot water into a cup, picked it up, and it shattered in my hands. Not all cups were meant to be mugs. Growing up we had Nerf guns. What are kids playing with now? And then I saw this TikTok of the most futuristic water blaster I've ever seen. Bursts of water. It's like a fusion rifle of water guns. And then you can load it up and do a mega blast. This is incredible. The rich kid pull up to the pool party with this. What you do? I mean, you can just hold it in some water and it'll automatically refill itself. Like, what do you mean you don't have to like open the cap and then put the hose over it and then stand there while it refills? Like, this is so much better. I just remembered I have adult money and I will be purchasing one of these immediately. You know, I actually buy a lot of the things I see in these videos. <laughs> This little thingamajiggy has been going viral on TikTok. It is like a scooper upper. Do you see that? The way he lifted a cake with such ease from one surface to the other. What kind of witchcraft is this? But wait, it also works with dough. Doesn't leave any residue behind. Doesn't get your hands dirty. What kind of witchcraft is this? It's like the ultimate picker upper. But wait, 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 wait. It doesn't just work for cakes and dough. Somebody picked up ketchup with it. There is no way. On a table? How are you gonna pick up the ketchup? It's gonna like smear it out everywhere and you're gonna ruin the picker upper but look that's crazy how does it pick up the ketchup and keep it intact it's called a pizza peel a pizza peel an appealing pizza peeling this is the most engineered shelf in the world and it's that easy and to remove the pot all you gotta do is slide the two sleeves apart and the best part is it barely leaves any visible damage there's no damage, there's no nail, there's nothing on the wall. You just take this box and just like shove it up against the wall and it'll stay? I don't get it. So you put it on a plain piece of drywall. We're just gonna demonstrate how the mechanism works. As you press the two sleeves together, four counter opposing stainless steel prongs lock on to the wall. Prongs lock onto the wall. How? I still don't get it. Is it something to do with suction? What law of physics is this? I feel like somebody's gonna buy this, install it against the wall, and wake up to a really loud noise in the middle of the night in three months, thinking that somebody's breaking into their house, but it's just a shelf on the floor. That's a no from me. Okay, this is something most people need. A milk dispenser that sits in the door of your fridge. You know, unless you're lactose intolerant. No, it still works with almond milk or your milked oats. You know, nut milk of choice. It's that easy. Oh, you can even do it with juice. Is this like a universal cap that fits into any bottle? Okay, but why do you have to put batteries in it? You know, a little suspicious. I don't like batteries around moist things, but I'll allow it just because how genius this invention is. Oh, I saw these in Japan. They are little molds where you can put your hard-boiled eggs. So you take your hard-boiled egg, put it in water, it must be moist. A dry egg will simply not mold properly. And then you open it up and you got a little egg bunny. You know, if your child won't eat a regular hard-boiled egg, maybe they will eat a bunny-shaped one. This is not a vegan household. Oh, it's almost too cute to eat. Eh, it depends how hungry I am. There is this little thingy maduha, a digital measuring tape where you can just roll it around an object and it'll give you the circumference. I don't know why this is so ridiculous. Probably because you're measuring bananas and eggplants. You're telling me that banana was less than five inches? It's about average. I wonder how accurate this thing is. Like technically, couldn't you just keep rolling it and rolling it and rolling it and rolling it and rolling it for miles and miles and miles and it would just measure that distance? When will it stop? Oh, I saw this on TikTok. I bought one of these and I want to test it out. It's a self-stirring glass. And I'm like, wait, how? Oh, it has a little spinner in it. So you pour your powder in, put the lid on, press a button, and then it'll blend whatever you put in the mug. And it's like, there's no mess. It's just like a little cup blender. I think the handle is where the secret batteries go. And then you put dish soap and water in it and then it'll basically blend itself clean. Just like a blender in a cup. Super Mario box you can buy. I'm just, yeah, you know, every time it makes a little sound of achievement. But this isn't something that should be abused, it should be used very sparingly. <laughs> yeah, completed my morning poo. Nice little surge of dopamine to start off the day. What if you can't reach it? What if you're a little guy? You know, jumping that high is gonna be an achievement itself. 
Travel gadgets you need. I always love learning about new travel gadgets and things that will make my traveling easier because I absolutely hate traveling. I hate being on a plane. It's like you wake up two hours before your flight. You have to get ready. You have to drive an hour to the airport. You have to get there like an hour before your flight and breathe the same air as everybody on an enclosed aircraft thousands of feet up in the sky. And you have to sit in a tiny little seat for four hours straight. Like it's not my favorite. I don't, I don't like being on an airplane. So anything to make that experience a little better. What is that inflatable chair? You blowing up something? Oh, it's a leg rest This would be so nice on a plane But like you can only put one carry-on in the overhead bin and then what about your bag? You put it under the seat in front of you and then you got this foot rest the size of a large toddler Just in front of you. What if the person in the middle seat needs to go to the bathroom? Like you're gonna have to move the whole thing It's just so big and awkward and also I'm not blowing up anything on a plane Everybody's gonna be so nosy like what are you doing? Is she gonna do a hot tub stream? Like, personally, I would not. There's this little thingamajig that you can plug into your phone, and it's a lighter. If you need a cigarette that badly, I think you got bigger problems to deal with. But also, like, where is the fire coming from? Is it using the electricity from my phone to start a fire? This cannot be safe. You know, good thing it folds up when you're not using it. Like, what if you do lighter mode activate, and then you put it in your jacket, it accidentally touches the inside of your pocket, and then sets you on fire? Something tells me they're not gonna pay up. I need a new phone case. This phone case has over 250k people who liked it. Okay, it looks like a regular phone case, but what's the little lever on the back? It's just the middle finger and it just like flips up. <laughs> For the passive aggressive friend. Except if you thought you were sneaky using this around your parents, you're not gonna have a phone anymore. Let alone a silly little case. Oh, this is neat. There is this little device that you can stick on anything. It's called a switch bot. It literally has one job to press a single button. So I'm guessing you schedule it. You guys are probably watching this like, what's the point of this? It takes two seconds to walk up to something and press a button. No, hear me out. What if it's like a button on the ceiling or like somewhere you can't really reach? And like, I'm guessing this little switch bot is so chunky because it has like an internal timer and you can schedule it to turn something on and turn something off. What if you have something that lights up on the top shelf? I want it to turn on every day and then turn off without me manually doing it. This is actually genius. The design is very human, which makes it creepy. Cause it's like a little lever that just like poop, a little robotic finger. The way it comes out is a little sus. This is a little angled brush that can get all the nooks and crannies a regular disinfecting wipe cannot. I don't even wanna know how filthy my car is. Okay, the screen didn't even look that clean. When you wipe down the interior of your car, the dust kinda like settles in the corners of the screen, of the buttons. But this is supposed to like get them out of the nooks and crannies. Evict the dust mites from their crevices. Is this sink big enough? Is that a dog bowl? No, it's for salad. Is this necessary? Okay, this sink keeps going on and on and on. Why does it have all these attachments? Do you have countertop or is it just all sink? That we have to do all the countertop activities inside the sink. So why is it so long? Sink got more square footage than a New York apartment. It's unnecessary. If you thought that sink was way too extra, then I have the sink for you. It's a faucetless sink. You know, things have gotten so modern. We want to hide the faucet. It's too ugly. It's got to go. It's an unnecessary appendage. The water comes out of there. Oh, there's a little dispenser for soap too. There's all these like hidden sensors on the side. One is the garbage disposal. One is the water. Oh, that's another stream of water. Why does it have two spouts that emit water? Can you program one to like eject orange juice just to suggestion. You tell me if this is the most unnecessary, useless thing you've ever seen in your life. It looks like the shell of a lemon, but you put an egg in it. Raw egg. It looks like a little submarine man. Oh, he's like Dogecoin. He's going to the moon. Put the rocket on. And then you pull the string a few times. It spins the egg around. But wait, wait, wait. Hard boil then. <gasps> it scrambled the egg while it was inside the shell. So when you hard boil it, it's just, there's no yolk and no whites. No more segregation. It's become one. A yellow egg. This feels illegal. I don't like it. And also that's a whole lot of effort. You know, I really don't like egg whites, but I, I don't really like the egg yolk, but like together. I don't know how I feel about this. Also like the textures are different. 
Speaking of unnecessary, you got the pee pitter. I don't know what it's actually called, but it makes sense that it would be a pee pitter. The whole point is to deprive the pod of the pee. You know, y'all can't just like squeeze it. They come out pretty easily. No, you're gonna be all extra, get this whole machine that you're gonna have to spin. Your arm's gonna hurt from spinning all the peas in the pod, and then you're gonna have to wash it. When you could have just like squeeze it, it comes out. Or buy frozen peas if you're this lazy. There's this little device, a little handheld shredder. Shred your credit card. Ah! Your nails too? No, that's not what I saw a second ago. Doesn't look like it would be that smooth. One second you're giving yourself a little nail trim. You're a little too far and now you're missing a finger. I didn't have to see the shavings. I mean, it has to go somewhere. Yeah, dump out the shavings and make hot cocoa out of it. Okay, I have another unnecessary one for you. Half of you are probably like, what is going on here? What even is this? This is like an electric prayer bead that counts the number of times that you flick the bead. I only know this because my dad would have prayer beads and he would always like be doing this on it. Is this like religious ADHD? I don't know. But instead of using real beads, like on a necklace, you do this. It's electric. It's like some things are better left manual. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below. Let me know which one of these was the coolest one. Which would you actually buy? If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and that. Peace. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.